Earth could feasibly descend into chaos, according to what physicists are warning us. The impact of human activity on the Earth system could result in unpredictable chaos from which there is no return. Physicists have calculated using a theory conceived to model superconductivity. A team of physicists led by Alex Bernardini of the University of Porto in Portugal showed that after a certain point, we will not be able to restore equilibrium to Earth's climate. A finite amount of human activity could result in the hothouse Earth from which there is no return. They detailed their work in a paper made available in April 2022 on the preprint server ARXIV, which remains to be peer-reviewed. He says the implications of climate change are well known. Droughts, heat waves, extreme phenomena, etc. Physicist Orfu Bertolomé told Live Science last year, if the Earth system gets into the region of chaotic behavior, we will lose all hope of somehow fixing the problem, he said. For some years now, extreme weather events seem to be occurring more regularly. Wildfire blazes, storm surges, uh, rages, temperatures reaching new records. Climate scientists have warned that this is a consequence of human activity, such as the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and increasing in farming. And this has led to the proposal of a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene, a period in which the human activity has led to the significant and marked impact on the entire Earth system, comprised of the geosphere, biosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. The Anthropocene would follow the Holocene, which started around 11,700 years ago, and scientists propose its beginning around the middle of the 20th century, the peak of the nuclear era. Bernardini and his colleagues decided to model the transition from Holocene to Anthropocene as a phase transition and calculate its future trajectory accordingly. Phase transitions are very common. The term refers to how a material changes from one state to the other. A solid melts into a liquid, a liquid boils into a gas. A metal transforms from a normal state into a superconducting one. Each of these has a tipping point at which an equilibrium state undergoes a profound shift into another state. The Earth system is not a material, but researchers show that the phase transition modeling can be used to predict climate shifts with some success. Bernardini and his colleagues used the Gidsberg Landau theory developed to model superconductivity and applied it to the Anthropocene based on temperature starting at Holocene equilibrium point. Now, human influence is limited. Our world has a finite amount of habitable space, a finite amount of resources, and a finite rate at which we can use them. Given this maximum capacity, the researchers decided to map the possible outcomes of the Anthropocene phase transition using a logistic map, a tool to explore how complex outcomes and even chaos can evolve from a simple point. And their results showed that they were not necessarily heading for a certain climate doom. We might follow quite a regular and predictable trajectory, the end point of which is climate stabilization at a higher average temperature point than we have now. That's still not great given the deadly effects we're already seeing on humans and other animals. But at the more extreme end, Earth runs into havoc. This means that the Earth's system evolves into chaotic behavior, extreme seasonal fluctuations and weather events that preclude prediction of the future behavior of the system making it impossible to mitigate. That means it would be very extremely difficult, if not impossible, to claw our way back to a stable climate. Dividing the human activities into multiple components, we've studied a case with only two of these components following logistic maps and interacting with each one, the researchers wrote. Even for this simple case, we observe the emergence of chaotic behavior in the equilibrium points of the Earth's system. This leads to potentially important consequences if at least some components of the human activity actually follow logistic maps, 
which is a uh, quite a reasonable hypothesis given the physical limitations of the planet-wide system that we live in. This outcome is not inevitable, which is something of a relief, but the researchers say we need to consider it a real possibility for designing strategies to mitigate climate change and manage the Earth system in the future. The paper was reprinted in the survey ARXIV. This is on Science Alert by Michelle Starr. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.